Okay, if you're having trouble with a Music Man Stingray, wherein the G string is getting lost in the mix, not enough volume, there is an easy fix rather than messing around with EQ or the amp setting or this is a three EQ bass. These are all flat, the amps all flat. What you do, it takes about 10 minutes. You take the strings off, remove these three screws, then the pickup cover comes off. On a stock music man, the pole pieces follow the radius of the fretboard. So it like curves up towards the A and the D. If you just tip the pickup up this way like people do, then the D can get too strong. So you've got a loud D and your G still isn't up there. So you take the cover off. What you'll find under here is two separate pickups, one next to the other with curved ends. If you're very careful, don't break the solder. You don't need a pair of pliers. You just need your fingers. You can push the pole pieces down. You only need to push these four center ones down. Maybe, I don't know, three eighths of an inch or um, what would that be, four millimeters? Something like that, so that they're all flat. So you can even push the E, e down as well if you want to. I've, I've pushed, mine's a bit high on this side as you can see in the pictures. Um, you push them all down, but you don't push down the G's. They stay up. You can't push those down. You can't bring them up any higher because the, the tensioner springs on the back clip on the back and there won't be anything for the tensioners to clip onto. And then you put your cover back on. Be very careful with your screwdriver. Don't slip and scratch anything. Um, and then you make sure the G side is higher than the E side. So the whole pickup's tipped over. And then there is no... Obviously the G is going to sound a different type of sound to the D because it's a thinner string. Volume wise, if I play a D, uh, a G on a D string, you can see even though it's slightly thinner sound, the volume is there. In fact, I've probably overdone it. Um, the G is probably a bit loud on this one, but um, that's how to do it without any kind of worries. And if you want to adjust your EQ a bit afterwards, then maybe just the middle if you've got three EQ or just do it on the amp. So, uh, great, thanks for watching and that's, that's how I fix mine anyway. But good luck with yours.